Good morning, welcome to a morning review on Thursday, 29th of January. This is Kim Watson speaking for Easy Trader. Okay, following the Fed's meeting like yesterday, we saw the euro and the pound, etc., sell off. Uh, the, the, uh, the contents of the statement was pretty similar to the previous month, and well, uh, we've seen a reaction from that now. We have seen the euro come down to its lower ba uh, band here on the dailies and take a bit of a bounce, and it could follow through some more. Have got an upside target there potentially at uh, 113.15 uh, which uh, we're pretty close to at the moment it could be, go beyond that had a sort, sort of a divergence off the lows from uh, yesterday into the Asian session low uh, I say th this looks like it's going to push up and break and hit into the pivot breaking beyond that I'd be looking at this sort of trend line that's coming down here badly drawn but there we go uh, that's if we see a break of that well then we're pushing into Wednesday uh, sorry Tuesday's highs uh, and that 200 I think it's got a reasonable chance of getting up there if it can hold on to the gains and continue to push uh, if it does break to the downside well it's uh, not such an easy picture to determine exactly uh, where uh, there's a possible trend line get running across here maybe the easiest view in terms of it breaks that sort of area then I've got to be uh, uh, erring towards the uh, bearish side it may just reflect it may just run into the, uh, the uh, daily pivot and turn around but uh, uh, we'll see how it runs there There's, as I say bounce it from where it's bouncing we may see some more follow through to the upside at the moment I remain uh, for the intermediate time a term uh, bullish although the big picture for me is still bearish but uh, as I said yesterday on updates I'm expecting a bit more. I was expecting a bit more of a bounce than we've seen. Okay, that's euro dollar, pound dollar. The pound sold off yesterday, not quite so much. It has done a bearish harami though, which is not looking particularly wonderful at the moment. But of course, uh, if we can get a push up and push up above Tuesday's highs again, uh, we, we could get great gain some momentum and push up more here it's still effectively on this four hourly chart I guess a bearish flag a bullish flag rather it's made some funny old attempts of at trying to get up to the highs there not quite made it but if we can hold on to this uh, candle and then start pushing up again we've, we've just run into its uh, daily pivot so if we can break as a break beyond that pivot I'd, I'd be looking for the highs of yesterday to be tested uh, maybe uh, somewhere in that region if you got to put that trend line there if you can get up there and start uh, gaining some positive momentum that would be a target at least and maybe push up higher uh, like, of course if, you, if it does turn over I'm not going to be hanging on to the hope of uh, it pushing up I'll, beyond these lows here I've become quite bearish again and to play play for the low side of yesterday uh, Tuesday's lows and continue and see where we can push from there maybe even back and test that uh, weekly pivot on the other side okay uh, top side rather right dollar yen still chopping away not much to say here it's the same old same old really uh, we've uh, yesterday came back tested the the lows here uh, it's at, at the moment if it breaks the lows well then we could push right the way down to 116.37 sort of region these prior lows here uh, from the, on the left hand side of the chart as uh, a possibility it's from a uh, point of view still I mean it's very range bound which if, if you can break up higher here from where it's running well perhaps run back to the Asian session highs and maybe yesterday's highs but it's quite variable in what it's doing here as I said uh, for the last few days now as long as it stays in the zone it makes it quite difficult to uh, decide on direction it's too choppy for me okay looking at the Australian dollar sold off yesterday and this continues to sell off this morning double bottomed it's I think there is some divergence yep there's some bit of divergence on dailies there could see it uh, uh, retrace some of this movement we've got a uh, daily pivot above us at uh, 79.33 area in that some of that region if we can get some traction here I'll be looking for longs in towards that uh, as a target uh, which may be a slow target but uh, we'll see how it runs 
but it has sold off more than most. It's uh, getting 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 the sort of uh, knock on effect from the New Zealand dollar, which has also made four year lows. So a break of uh, the Asian session lows, well, we'll be looking for a move down to the S1 and maybe beyond. So um, at the moment, though, probably expecting a bit more of a bounce from here. Right, and it's uh, in terms of news today. We have the German CPI figures that are coming out throughout this morning, which don't really create lots of volatility. Uh, beyond that, there's nothing too significant. US uh, normal jobs report, a weekly job report, one thirty, but nothing significant this morning, so or this afternoon. So it could be uh, just a pure technical day today. That's it for me. Have a great one.